much, XR. I'm here at the Iveskulu University Summer Cottage Island, a beautiful environment, and I'm here with folks from the actual Iveskulu area. Could you tell me a bit more about yourselves? Hi, my name is Merja Juntonen, but you can call me Memma. Um, I come from University of Jyväskylä and the Department of Teacher Education. So I'm a teacher and um, I've been uh, in university teacher also. But at the moment I work as a project researcher. But above all, I'm, we are enthusiasts and expert in the field of learning in VR. Uh, here with me is Sara Kumpulainen, and um, we have um, created and built these worlds together. Can we see, say so? Yes, yes. Okay, hi everybody. So my name is Sara Kumpulainen, and I'm the designer and the builder of these, all of these University of Jyväskylä spaces. And uh, at the moment, I have kind of my own business, but also I work at the Poke as a teacher of this XR and VR stuff. So, how did Uvascular University end up building an XR environment? Uh, well, can I thank for the COVID-19 pandemic for that? Uh, I think that last aut autumn, we already had some kind of overload of video conferencing and Teams and Zoom and that kind of things. And that was one of the starting points for creating creating a new virtual reality learning environment at the University of Uvaska. And then two teachers from the Department of Teacher Education contacted me and asked would it be possible to arrange a collaborative learn, learning event for 100 teacher students in VR? So we had a real need for the VR learning environment. And I, I remember I was very, very excited for all, all that thing. And, and I phoned to Sarah right away uh, and asked if she, can, she has time for our VR campus project. And we have planned and designed these two XR campus worlds together with Sarah in good operation. And, and so we combined Sarah's ex expertise of 3D modeling and, and my knowledge of learning and learning in VR. And that's how our VR campus were born, actually. And, and UXR campus launched about one year ago in December. 2020 in art space we are in the first of its kind in Finland and UXR our campus was created as an open bed for all inter interested in virtual re reality education it's not limited only for the faculty of and students of the University of Jyväskylä but UXR campus is always open and accessible to the whole world. Of course, we prioritize our own learning events, but there is a lot of space for learning happenings and meetups and hangarounds for everybody. So come and visit us and you are, you are always welcome here. Okay, so I think I should tell you something about all of these spaces. So everything you will see the, uh, is collection of the virtual spaces of Virtual University of Jyväskylä. It consists a total of 13 spaces, which includes 11 similar learning spaces that can be altered to the needs of the students, uh, the campus area, the main campus lobby, and the summer cottage island where you are at the moment. All these spaces are used in studying and are open for the students and the visitors. And stay tuned because we'll have an opportunity to visit some of these other worlds from the Uvascula University campus. So, what has inspired this place? 
Yeah, so uh, the real buildings at the university are designed by the Finnish architect, city planner and furniture designer Alvar Aalto. And they are really, really beautiful. Fun detail about designing this is that we wanted to bring out the similarity without, however, completely mimicking his work. Even though these buildings are made inspired by the work of Alvar Aalto, they are designed and put together in close cooperation with pedagogics of University of Jyväskylä, especially, especially the building in the learning space. Well, I think that the landscape of central Finland has inspired the most if we think about what the UXR campus look like. And we are in VR, we can study outdoors, regardless of, of the season, so there's no cold and rainy days here in VR if we don't want to, so, so we don't have to build walls and roofs to protect us. And building this VR campus was a unique opportunity to think learning out of the box and design learning quite differently and creatively. I hope, uh, I hope that all worlds here in UXR campus will cozy and relaxing and encourage students and teachers to work creatively and, and collaboratively. In function, our We Are Campus has been designed for the needs of collaborative learning. And every single UXR world is, a small, is small enough to handle and facilitate learning events and functions. On the other hand, it's big enough for small groups, conversations without being disturbed by each other. And we have tried to design cozy and beautiful spots which, in, which invite people to chat. And of course, we have media screens here too and for presentations and that kind of learning situations. Well, thank you, Memma and Sara, for your insight. And right now we're going to go see some of the other spaces that Uvascular University has. And we're going to start by going upstairs right there, talk with Maria. Now we have gone upstairs here at the Uvascular University Summer Cottage Island, and I'm here with Maria. Could you tell me more about yourself? Thank you. My name is Maria Mäkivirta, and I am an art teacher in Jyväskylä University, Department of uh, Teacher Education. And in the, in the island and on the, on the campus, you can see our photos from the students. We have used this, uh, uh, in art education, we have used this as a gallery, our photos. And this, these photos over here are uh, buildings which are designed by Alvar Aalto. And it's uh, it's a very famous place. Uh, designed in 1955, 54 and 55, and uh, students have, have photos on real campus and because the real campus was closed and the studi studies were online, so we couldn't uh, have our gallery in in real campus. We came here into virtual uh, island and have our gallery over here. And this was a beautiful, beautiful way to get together and see our uh, photos and also the families and friends possibly to come here and see those. In art education, we have uh, take a thought and talk about what are the possibilities for this kind of environment gives to the uh, art education. And this was the first little step in the future and, and uh, the ways to use those spaces. Welcome. Right now we are on the University XR campus with some lovely folks. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Anna. I'm the principal of Connevesi Primary secondary and upper secondary schools. I'm really glad to be here. 
Hi, my name is Petro. I'm a student at the University of Uvascula. I was part of the project that we held last spring at Bonavisi Primary. That's why I'm here to speak about it. And I'm glad to be here as well. Petra, could you tell us more about the project between Konnevesi School and Uvascula University? Sure. Uh, we had a bro project uh, with the, the University and Konnevesi Primary School. Where, uh, as part of our class teacher training, we went to Konnevesi School uh, with the one eighth graders class, so that's 14 to 15 year olds. Uh, and aim of the project was to let the students learn more about uh, XR, about using old space, also to uh, also to communicate with uh, international people. So the aim was to uh, for the students to go finish culture and uh, talk English with international uh, international teachers from all around the world. We have we had guests from. Uh, Pakistan and uh, Indonesia and South Africa, for example, uh, and the students uh, talked with these guests and uh, in English and had prepared some photos and stuff about Finnish culture. It showed the Finnish culture uh, to the international guests. That in this way they they could uh, learn about how how to, how to use English and how to communicate with international people and show Finnish culture. And uh, as as a part of part of that um, project, we, ha we have this game that you can see behind us. Uh, so we also also use some gamification uh, as part of the project. The students had to find these international people, had to uh, have conversations with them and ask about ask about Finnish culture and their culture where they are, were from. So this project was about international uh, relations, about using English and also about using technology. And for us uh, students of the university, it was a way to uh, have a experience about teaching these things, the students. And for the students, it was an experience to oh, how you can uh, have international relations without actually traveling anywhere using techno technology that we have nowadays have meaningful uh, meaningful relations with inter uh, well, internationally uh, using tools like old space and other XR things and then Anna how does this project work out from the side of the school and how do you see the future of XR in education uh, the project went really, really well. Our teachers were really thrilled about it. The two teachers that were in this project with the U.S. University and the students were also thrilled. Uh, our project is funded by a uh, Finnish agency of education. And it's, it's really focused on, on the upper secondary school, but we have also taken few classes like the eighth and the third graders as, as an example so that we can actually work with uh, with uh, younger students as well and XR in the future I think this is this will be the future also in education uh, it's at the moment it's it's really really baby steps at the moment in the education, but I think actually that in Gonnevesi we have taken a huge leap uh, with this XR. And possibilities with XR in education are enormous. We can bring world to us and like throats are sold that the international communication with other students all over the world or just people all over the world is a really, really big Possibility for our students because because of Corona we can't travel anywhere and even if if there weren't Corona it's really really expensive to travel so just the possibility to see other cultures see the world see new people is like a big thing in XR and it's the possibility for the teachers to create something new something something that is based on experience. It's really important in learning. Thanks. 
Well, thank you so much for having me and for introducing your projects. And now we're going to move forward onto the next location. Welcome to one of the U.S. University learning environments. This one is called HIPAA. And I'm here with Matti Alpianen. Would you like to introduce yourself a, a bit more? Yes. My name is Matti Rautienen, and I'm working as a university lecturer at the Department of Teacher Education at the University of Jyväskylä. And what have you done here at the university with its students? Yeah, I have had uh, quite a lot of teaching here at this room called uh, HIPAA and also the other spaces at the Extended Reality Campus. Here you can see, for example, screen done by my students last uh, spring. They had a conference here. I was here with my colleagues and uh, almost 200 students uh, with me. And all the rooms were under use. Students were uh, presenting their projects and having different kind of workshops here. So it's nice we have still these screens here, and I think this is absolutely fabulous place to, to be with them because uh, discussion, conversation, as well as other kind of activities are possible here. So mostly I've done this with the small group, but also as conferences here, especially COVID-19 era was so hard time. So this uh, absolutely offered a, a nice place to meet with a more immersive way than maybe two more teams as we normally use them in our teaching. How do you see the future of XR education? Well, that's a good question because, you know, now we have been using this uh, environment with our students and also with, uh, with school students as well. And then when you come here, you can see some random people going around here. On the other hand, our students have had quite a lot of attitudes against this. They see this more like an entire <clears throat> entertainment not as a place where to study, so it takes time for them to get used to this and implement it with a uh, with, uh, bigger amount of students. And of course, one problem is that we don't have enough classes, so they use still computer, and from that point of view, it's not so immersive as we would like to be. However, I see it very positive, for example, my special area is history, and I think <laughs> These environments will offer us a lot of possibilities to journey to history in, in the way we can do it right now. So I'm looking the future with a huge eager and keen, but I'm on the other hand a bit skeptical how much we can do in a, in a very fast way. So step by step, it will be part of education. Either we want it or either we want it yes well thank you so much and we'll see you at the next location so we've seen the projects that Givaskula University has already done and now we're going to look into the future Memma who are we here with uh, here are my colleagues from x ecosystem and, and here's Ilona and here's Pekka. Can you tell more about yourselves? Okay, maybe I'll start. I am Ilona Laakkonen from, from YAMK, a School of Professional Teacher Education. And we are working in this Gexri project together. We joined our forces with Pekka and Memma and they are also business developers who work with us and we are trying to, to build an ecosystem for, for businesses and education institutions and local research and development um, actors so that we can, we can see the future, maybe build new business uh, and create new competence. For this area first and maybe later, <laughs> maybe worldwide, who knows. And Becca. Yeah, I'm Becca. I'm Becca away from vocational college and uh, our role is mainly uh, designing this space and that's why I the cloud in front of me 
and this space is uh, active space, not that just we are modeling with programmers. Actually, we were together modeling this space just a moment ago, and uh, I think it's a great idea to gather people in these places and model together. Yes. So this place is is a part of our environment for the Gexri ecosystem. It's where we meet and where we um, present our work and it's work in progress. We just started with this project, so we'll get more content and, and more partners here in the future. Yeah, and uh, yesterday we had an event here and uh, CEO of Zoan was doing presentation in the island behind us. So we are thinking that maybe we can invite people from different companies here and uh, explore how to use these places with us. So how do you see the future of XR? Um, I look at it from the perspective of, of learning and, and working together and collaboration. So I think that finally, um, as technologies are coming, becoming more available for people, and perhaps in some years we are all able to access these kind of spaces easily, uh, I think that we are going to meet in these types of spaces more and more because there's the, the shared context for us and shared experience is much more than in the in the 2D environments, like Teams or Zoom that we all been using now for the past years. So I think the the future looks bright and it leaves room also for creativity and fun again in the work. Yeah, and, and I, actually this place we are now visiting, this is a lobby world and uh, we are trying to get these islands crowded. Maybe there are links to other company worlds. Maybe there are some event worlds and uh, people can uh, experience metaverse in their places here. And, uh, can uh, we can learn how this ecosystem builds and we can be creative and work together and that's the greatest thing thing i think mm. and we can do things that we can do in the real world like stand on an island that is floating or model this place with clouds so Memma, where can we find you online? You can find all of us from gexi.io. Also, yes, and you, you can also find us during the Match XR here on the Gexi Islands. Yes, you should come here and you should touch some clouds. See you here. Bye. See you. Bye.